Good day guys, MF West coming at you here with a UI interface video today. Now in the last video I did promise that I would talk to you guys about this UI and since I posted the video I've already been getting so many questions like dude what is that UI? Holy shit that looks amazing. Yeah guys it is, I have to say, probably one of the best UIs I've ever come across in playing this game. I've been playing this game for about 4 or 5 years. It's really 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 clean. Like, okay. First of all, I don't want to take any credit for this UI, it's not mine. A guy called Synchro actually made, he made the UI and did amazing job, complete credit to the guy. If you ever do come across this video, Synchro, as I speak for everyone in the community, thank you so fucking much, dude. Um, yeah, the actual UI is called Sync UI, and that's one word, Sync UI, S-Y-N-C-U-I. You can get it, just type in Google, Sync uh, UI, you'll be uh, directed to World of Warcraft add-ons and then you just type in Sync UI into the search bar. I'm actually going to show you guys that website now. Yeah, this is the WoW interface, everyone knows this website. So basically from WoW interface, literally just type in Sync UI over here and it's going to direct you to this page, which is where um, this add-on was here. So basically, history of this add-on, I used it in all of uh, World of the Draenor. He actually made it for World of the Draenor and... Uh, I used the UI, then everyone was wondering, is he going to update it for um, Legion or the pre-patch? Because pre-patch made every add-on just fucked up. And he did, and he made it even better, holy shit. So, yep, this download over here, as you can see, it is ready for this patch. And yeah, I'm going to discuss to you guys how the add-on actually works. Basically, you're going to install the add-on, put it into your add-on folder in your WoW folder, and basically you're going to log in, and it's going to be like this straight away. The whole interface is going to be like this. You don't have to actually like maneuver any of these frames around. Okay, so first of all, if you want to maneuver, like first of all, if you want to get to the settings, it's quite difficult to find, but if you just press escape and you're going to a menu, there's going to be an arrow to the right here. Click on that arrow, and then you've got all these different tabs. Uh, placement tool lets you adjust everything, so all the bars, um, everything here, even your um, your target frames, target to target, you can, all, you can change that to customize it however you want. I like it just above my action bars here. Okay, so that's that. Um, next thing that you can do, the most important thing in my opinion, the first thing that I even went to was appearance. Alright guys, so as you can see, this kind of like pulsing color at the bottom. You can choose to actually have it as your class color, so as blue. Rainbow, it's going to switch between over the whole color spectrum. You name it, the color, it's going to come up eventually. So from the purples, the blues, the greens, everything. You can just, or guess what? You actually customize which color, which freaking color you can make it. How amazing is that? So, if you like a green guy, you can make it green, you can make it anything you want. I was tempted to make it turquoise, like, I love turquoise. And yeah, but the rainbow, the rainbow is quite nice, all around a kind of uh, effect here. For your chat, uh, you can change the font. You've got a lot of fonts here, a lot of nice fonts. Yep, you can def definitely choose those. You can also add fonts to the folder, so if you don't like any of these fonts, you can add them. Then you can change if it's just a solid color or it pulses. I, pre uh, I prefer the pulse, kind of like a UI is kind of like alive, if you know what I mean, but yeah. And then you can also adjust the scale of your UI. Um, I actually haven't got it scaled up or down, I actually like it as it is, but you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want guys. Alright, next, you can actually add timers to your things, but I have an add-on for that. Um, you can filter enemy debuffs if you don't want them to see them there. The debuffs are small on the on top of the frames, so I would recommend not even bothering about this tab. But you can actually you can you know you can edit and figure out fit all of these things in this tab. But I use my own add-ons for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, unit frames. I actually have this disabled. You can actually it has its own unit frames for raids and shit. I just like the Blizzard uh, unit frames. I've always have. They're quite clean and yeah, I enjoy them. So you can actually disable that. Then you can actually, you know, you can actually maneuver the groups around with this. You can group them by class or groups by role. So really, really clean, awesome. Quests. Uh, basically, you can do this thing called auto accept quests where you can go up to a quest giver, it just automatically takes it. I don't like that in case the quest is shit, you know. <laughs> turning in though, yep, I don't want to click like five buttons turn in the quest. Boom. Right click on the guy who's right click on the quest giver and it's done auto share accept a quest so if someone shares a quest you can auto accept it yeah sure definitely all right so you can also skip cinematics i wouldn't recommend that because say in legion you just kill fucking like the last boss in the raid like oh my god sick video scene and it skips it so yeah um disable away flight mode basically when you go to a fp a flight path 
if you are flying somewhere, basically your whole UI gets covered. It's, everything's blank, but your guy flying on the fly path. So it's kind of made there to just to like forget about the fly path, just look at the nice scenery in the background. But you can disable this manually, or when you're in the fly path, just press escape and your UI comes back. So yeah, you can just disable it here or press escape while you're on the fly path and it goes away. So it's fine, guys. Auto sell junk, really like this one. Any grays you have sells it automatically, auto repair, obviously. And if there is a guild repair, it uses the guild repair. How awesome is that? Then you've got your different profiles. So if you set something on different characters, um, you can save it on, so say, the shaman. I'm going to save this interface for my shaman. Then I go on my warrior, have a different kind of thing. And yeah, the placement tool. So there you have it, guys. Like, wow, what a clean you are. Now, let me talk to you guys about the bottom tab. Okay, your reputation will be here. I'm guessing that experience will be here, but I'm not sure yet because I haven't started leveling in Legion, obviously. Um, for you guys wondering, uh, below here is where my Maelstrom shows. It actually shows there, but I have my own weak auras add-on here uh, for my actual Maelstrom bar. Also, so now you're going to wonder, like, where can I see my golden shit? At the bottom right, uh, bottom left here, you can see you can click on all these different tabs. So you can still add, go to all your tabs. It's all still here, guys. Um, now also, for this little thing at the bottom here, if you right click on it, you can actually tell you can tell the UI what you want to be appearing there. So say on my currency to appear there. You can now hover over and look at all your different currencies. Guild will tell you everyone that's online, memory, the memory that your add-ons use, uh, latency, friends. Yeah, so it's all there. Um, right now, like frame rate because I'm recording. Then, same on this side, you can just change like your friends, durability if you are uh, 100%, thank god. Uh, latency, yeah, so pretty cool. Like you can, It's a very clean, the bottom section is very clean. Also, right, you can change these bars here. So, for example, you don't want that bar to appear. You can turn that off. You can turn this one off as well. Uh, the chat is still the same. It's quite similar to the Blizz UI. It's just like looks a bit better, looks clean. And, yeah. Also, guys, if you wanted to learn, when you first get into the UI, I had a bit of a problem with this. I couldn't move anything. Like, look. But you can actually go into a key binding to unlock. If you go to key bindings, you can actually look and find the actual command to unlock. You see here, I have, um, if you go to action bar, toggle action bar lock, I have it at F12. It just unlocks the, um, the bar so I can move stuff. See? And then F12 again. Can't move anymore. So, yeah, guys. I think that's about it. I definitely recommend getting this UI for Legion. It is fucking amazing, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like and subscribe. And Synchro, you're a boss, mate. Cheers.